I'm sorry for the lack of uploads, but we're here again with a new pet sim update. And this time, it's a St. Patty's thing? I forgot that was even a day. St. Patrick's event. St. Patrick's world. St. Patrick's currency. St. Patrick's pet, St. Patrick's eggs. Giant rainbow event. There's a lot of things going on. There's a hair on my mic, and we're gonna check it out today. Uh, two times luck event, power leaderboard, and more. So lots of things to check out. They actually added a power leaderboard. That is wild. They actually did it. That's crazy. So not sure which one's more uh, valuable to hit. I'm not sure which one people prefer. There's going to be like a main one. But either way, at least they gave the people what they wanted. They added it back. So um you know you don't have to worry if you had super high power but you traded all your rare huge pets away like i did i still have no power though so it's it's kind of awkward but if you guys are excited for today's video then smash that like button it helps out a lot also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're almost at 3 million subs i know everyone says like statistically if you don't subscribe if you're if you're watching this you're not subscribed but like it's true there's a lot of people watching not subscribed so um yeah go ahead and subscribe and uh, you like the lights? Cool. Uh, anyways, uh, let's get into this. So we have 41. How am I getting coins, by the way? I'm just like randomly getting coins. I have 41. I don't know how this happened, but I do have 41. Um, that is the new currency. Do we have any pets in the daycare that we need to grab? I think I put my best pet in the daycare. I'm not really sure. Where's my... So my... Okay, I only have this hardcore pet, which I guess is bad in normal mode, but good in hardcore. So that's why my power is so low. Um... Let's go ahead and grab this redeemable. We never really get that. And they're the lucky blocks. So you're going to want to smack all these lucky blocks down to hatch those eggs. I'm going to take a look at the change log on Twitter to get every bit of this update out uh, so that we know exactly what we're doing. Oh, right here, it says St. Patrick's event featuring St. Patrick's event. Top of the morning to you. Happy St. Patrick's week. Launch into the new St. Patrick's world with the cannon at the town area. So, of course, uh, make sure to wear some green. Uh... Uh, uh, I have no green. I'm sorry. There's green on my watch. Okay. Um, we also got ourselves the leprechauns have been busy. The festive world features four new areas to unlock three of the areas. Quests must be completed. That's pretty cool. St. Patrick's currency you might find the clover coin. Break anything to get the coin. If you're looking for more, break the pots and coin stacks. And then there's the St. Patrick's pets. So, pinch me, seven new pets are ready to be hatched. Welcome to the three new huge pets. The huge leprechaun cat, huge clover unicorn, and huge clover dragon. We also have the five St. Patrick's pets, including a secret, the secret clover unicorn. So, we're going to have to try and get that thing. Um, the St. Patrick's eggs are right over here. And I guess the huge... Okay, so the huge leprechaun is in every egg with different chances. The huge clover is only in the final... And the huge clover dragon is only in the giant rainbow event egg. These are all limited. So this is going to be really interesting. What the heck is this? A giant rainbow event. There's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. The giant rainbow appears in the town every four hours. Break through all five giant chests. Oh, that is crazy. I like that. So they actually went above and beyond with this with this uh, themed event update. I like it because all the events are typically the same. It's just a, a reskinned area with an egg and like a, a maybe a small quest. But this is this is a lot different. I like it. There's the lucky blocks right there. Feeling the luck of the Irish. Lucky blocks are back and spawning everywhere. OK, cool, cool. And then we got the power leaderboard back. Yeah, I like this. I enjoy this. So we got a lot of stuff going on. I think this is a pretty cool update. I'm pretty excited to check it out. So hopefully you guys are as well. Let's see if our lucky block luck is here. We'll get some lucky blocks broken. Here's like an example of the coin piles that give you more. So that's going to give us thousands of leprechaun or uh, clover coins. Um, but let's go ahead and check out the area right now to see what those quests are. Because I'm pretty sure you have to start the quests. And in order to start the quest, you got to like go up to them. I'm pretty sure. Wait, break 150 clover coins. Okay, so I don't, do I have to like start it? Okay, no, I just have to check it. Finish one. Okay, so finish one quest to get through here. Finish two quests to get through there. Um, and this is just a, a direction you can go. So I have to break 150 clover coins. That's the bottom line. There's an egg that you can get right away here, but I can't afford it. So right off the bat, I can't do anything here. I like that you can go different ways, but you can't actually do anything right away. You have to go to like, let's go to like Doodle World. Let's go to like Doodle Cave. And I bet this is where we get the most for our buck. 
So if we start smacking up these boxes, I think this is where we'll get a lot. So like this, for example, if I destroy this, I think I will get a bunch of Clover coins for this. Um, and that'll just, that'll advance me. But oh yeah, 27 million, that is massive. But what I need to do is I actually need to break the coin piles. So the best way to do this quest is to just go to the beginning areas and, and destroy the, the coins that are easier, the Clover coin stacks that are easier. So yeah, I'm assuming it's only coin stacks. It's not gonna count the pots. So only do the coin stacks, okay? I, I made that mistake with the uh, with the Christmas one. And uh, yeah, it didn't go too very too too well for me. Um, all right, let's go ahead and go back to spawn. Because this is honestly the easiest way. You just go to spawn, you fly through, and you just click on all the coin piles, and then you just do it again in a new server, and you do it again in a new server. Um, you can keep going to other worlds, but obviously the coin piles are going to get harder as you go. Um, and you might as well hit the lucky blocks as you go by, you know? I mean, you might get a lucky egg from them, so might as well try it out. See, I got an egg. I, I still don't like that you can hatch any pet from it, but again, it's good for new players, so why not? All right, we got some coin piles here. I don't see any in the back, so we can keep going. Um, we got some of these bad boys. Now, I, I do wish that... I mean, this would be asking for maybe maybe too much, but I do wish Pet Sim had like a quest tracker. Um, I really think they should implement like a, a quest tracker in the top right. Whenever they do these event quests, they should just add a quest tracker that shows you what you're at because it's kind of annoying that you have to go back um and i know it's probably because they didn't implement a quest tracker when the game first came out so it's kind of hard they'd have, they'd have to like redo the quest system but i think it would be very useful because i don't know how many i've clicked i'm just clicking away and i'm not gonna count the whole time are you kidding me bro i'm gonna lose my place so i do have a lot of clover coins i have 300 million which is kind of nice um but I'm probably not even close to the 150 on uh, the Clover coin uh, piles. So that is something that is going to take us quite a bit to get through. Is there any new exclusives? There's no new exclusives, although we still didn't get the Titanic Dominus. So we could search for that. I'm not sure if we're going to. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, move ourselves. Is that a green pile? It is. We're going to move ourselves over to a new world so we can grab more coins so let's just go to um i guess we'll just go to tech world see what we can make happen here fantasy is kind of annoying because you have to go to each individual portal it's easier to just go back and forth to tech world spawn cat world or pixel world and then leave and then go to a new server that's honestly the best way to do it they changed it but uh it says 500k purchase to unlock wait what what the heck is this 500k purchase to unlock why won't it let me unlock it did they change the quest did I finish it? I don't know what this means. I went into a new server and it says this, so I'm not sure if they're changing it up, but I'm going to join a new server and see what happens. A new server, I opened it and it, it worked. So this one is meant to be just opened. When I first joined the game, it, it didn't show a price on it, I'm pretty sure, but now it does. So I am here and we've gotten the first egg available. So this is the Leprechaun egg. There is a gold version and in this, is the leprechaun cat, the huge leprechaun cat. So we're probably not gonna get this, but you know, let's wing it. Let's go for a buy eight. Let's see what we get. Best luck in town. <laughs> um, Yeah, all those just got auto deleted. <laughs> I never really care about hatching the free to play eggs unless there's a huge pet in it, but it's so rare that I feel like I'm never gonna get it. There is however a secret pet, but it's not in these eggs. So we're gonna have to open the rest of them. So in order to complete these quests, there was a quest that was like, click on all the piles and break 150, but it changed. I swear this didn't say break 50. Maybe, maybe this one was the coin stack, uh, the coin pile one. And maybe once I did 150, then there was a purchase. I don't know. But this one, I have to break 50 pots of gold. So that is going to be pretty tedious, especially because I think currently I've, I've got put in a, a public server um, and everyone's going to be breaking the pots of gold. So I'm going to have to go to a VIP server and uh, we're going to have to see what we can make happen here. Here we're on a VIP server. Getting 50 pots of gold destroyed shouldn't take that long because I swear just in one server going through all the areas, you almost get 50. So hopefully I get some good spawns. Hopefully we can get 50 destroyed and we can enter the next St. Patrick's area. I like that it's tiered to different areas 
and it's not just unlocking one zone or whatever with a bunch of quests because it makes it a little bit more exciting and a little bit less uh daunting like oh my gosh to get through this one area i have to break 150 of these coin piles and then 50 of these buckets and then 60 of this thing and then it's just it's a lot but this is a nice method so i welcome the change for these event updates plus i have a lot of this clover currency ready to go so how much pots have i done that's let's just say five six seven eight i'm just gonna try and count so i don't have to keep going back and forth nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 17 yeah so you can get about 20 just by walking through spawn 18 19 yeah that's actually pretty good i got almost 20 just by walking through spawn one time so if i reset the server again it's like an easy gg but we're gonna go to tech world first and uh get some there I believe i'm already at 45 so it's honestly not too bad we just go to the axle and we go to pixel world right here we call it a day we finish it right here then that should let us in the next area. And then I think we have to do another quest after. I don't think we just unlock the next uh, portion of the the zone. So we're almost completed with the St. Patrick's areas. And then we have to start actually like opening the eggs and getting those pets. All right. So that should be enough just to make it official. We'll get like five from the cat world just to make sure. If you guys got any insane new huge pets or rare pets or secret or anything from this new update, let me know. Maybe there's a video on the horizon where we feature you. I don't know. All right, this should be enough. So we go back to St. Patrick's. We go to Clover Fields, and that's the first egg. This one's the second egg. Now we have the purchase. So we can buy it, and this is the final area. And this one's locked until you participate in the giant rainbow event. Now this... This, we don't know when it's going to happen. Apparently, it only happens every four hours or something. So, we can't actually do that one yet. We'll have to do that in a future video. But, we can go down this area, which is called... What is this area called? Rainbow Heights. So, we can't access the final area, but this one has a different huge in it, right? Oh, no, it's the same one. So, I don't think you can get the secret one in this. Um, I'm going to be checking... The, I'm going to check the changelog again and see. Um, but I don't believe you can get the secret in this one, right? So... The secret, I don't know where the secret one is. The secret pet, it doesn't say specifically which one that's in, I don't think. Um, it just says five St. Patrick's pet, including the secret, but it doesn't say which ones they're in. <laughs> Maybe it's in the, is there like a, a St. Patrick's egg? That might be the one. Um, but the huge pets are, the, the huge leprechaun cat is in every egg with different chances. The huge clover unicorn is in the final area's egg, which we haven't unlocked yet. And then the clover dragon is only in the giant rainbow event. So definitely an interesting way of doing this. I guess I should open eight of these. We might as well just see what we can get here. Actually, maybe what we should do is not delete these right away. So let's let's keep everything. Oh, I do have everything on keep. Okay, so we are keeping these. Let's do another eight. It would be nice to get a mythical because out of here you can get the mythical. Or wait, did I get the legendary already? What did I just get? Oh, I got this one, but I didn't get this one. So I didn't get that one. Yeah, I've only gotten the gold clover fairy. We haven't gotten this axolotl uh, whatever. Um, but again, these aren't even the best pets that you can get out of this new update because you have to participate in the rainbow event. I, I don't like that you have to wait for a timed event in order to participate. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, let, let's see what these pets are worth. So power wise... None of these guys are at 1Q, which is definitely pretty low. No, no, nobody's even at 1 quadrillion. So that's that's pretty low down there. Um, obviously, I'm probably just going to delete these. But, you know, we got some new gold ones. There's only that many that exist. So it's it's not like they're crazy. Oh, my gosh. Only 37. 100,000 of these already exist. Almost 200K. The update just came out. That's insane. But, um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it for the saint patrick's event update as far as like the base new stuff uh that i can show you we can open all these eggs and try to get a huge cat our luck is actually so bad with that so it's probably not gonna work and just opening the eight of those put me down a couple hundred million uh clover coins so we don't want to waste them all until we unlock this area and again the the giant rainbow event says it happens every four areas or four uh hours 
and it's in spawn. So every four hours, the first is at 12. Oh wait, the first is at 12 CST. So the first is gonna be at like 3 p.m. my time. So what I'll probably try to do is make another video for tomorrow where I cover that, we unlock the new area, and uh, we try and get some rare St. Patrick's pets from that. But other than that, that's all we got going on here. I mean, we got some lucky blocks. You could get some rare lucky pets from that. You can get some clover coins. Definitely farm these limited updates while you can, these little limited, limited eggs. But nothing else that I can buy or really show off. So pretty cool update. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that they're changing things up. I no longer see the power and wrap buttons. Um, I don't know if they like are, are, I don't know if it's lagging or what, but yeah, they did add a power leaderboard and a wrap one. So it's kind of nice that there's both, but how that affects how people grind the leaderboards, I don't know which one people are going to focus on more, but at least there can be a number one or a top 10 in both now. So kind of like that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did smash that like button, subscribe if you're new and I appreciate it. I'm sorry. I, I, I know I'm so bad with uploads. I upload and then I'm like, hey, I'm daily again. And then I don't upload for like five days, but just stuff just keeps happening and it's hard to get videos up sometimes, but I'm trying my best. But thank you for sticking around and I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Watch another video while you're at it and I'll see you next time. Bye.